I went to McMaster and I was in the electrical and biomedical engineering stream. I graduated in 2010. I just completed my PhD in biomedical engineering and I'm going to be starting as an assistant professor at Ryerson University. After you finished the program at McMaster, I found that I had a really strong background in a large variety of disciplines. And so I got a really strong technical background with the electrical engineering. I found that I was really good at problem solving just from being in an engineering program, as well as getting the, the medical sciences background. Um, so because you've given this large skill set, both the technical, the practical, the theoretical skills, I think you have a lot of options of what you want to do post-graduation, whether it's going into industry, research, or uh, healthcare fields. I've established a really strong base in learning how to problem solve. So if, even if you're faced with a problem that you don't necessarily know how to solve right off the get-go, I think I was given the skills or taught the skills to be able to approach that problem in a really logical way and address it. At my time in McMaster, certainly I, you know, I did a lot of studying, but I also think I built a lot of friendships um, and met a lot of amazing people and I still keep in touch with a lot of these people today. So I decided to pursue research after graduating from undergrad because I did a lot of research as an undergraduate student here at McMaster and I got really interested in pursuing a higher level of education. Just interacting with professors and graduate students, I saw what a higher level of education could offer in terms of affecting change in the world. So during my time at McMaster I did have a lot of great teachers and a lot of good TAs and so I'm really excited to be able to pass that knowledge forward to the students that I get to teach and inspire and mentor. I learned a lot here at McMaster and I'm really excited to kind of pass that on to the next generation.